Hey everybody, Mariah Gates here, founder and CEO of Accelerated Automation with another Agency Zoom video for you guys. So uh, if you haven't already, make sure that you do like and subscribe to continue to follow our channel and get more updated information about this powerful CRM and amazing information about the insurance industry and technology in our space. In this video, we are going to dive into the service center in Agency Zoom. Personally, I think this could be its own standalone product. The service center is so powerful for busy insurance agencies where information is coming at you from all these different mediums and you need to keep it organized, making sure that your customers are taken care of, your service staff is on point, nothing is falling through the cracks, and you're not opening yourself up to potential E&O issues. So in this situation, we're gonna talk about the uh, policy change requests that you could be receiving from your customers, maybe even from the carrier or uh, lien holders and, and people like that as well. So in this situation, I'm going to show you just the standard way to make a service ticket. And then what we're gonna do is actually go in and talk about some of the more advanced features inside of Agency Zoom, and then even a way to create service tickets externally, adding in some additional systems um, into overlaying into your agency zoom to make it even more powerful. So to start off, let's just start with the easy uh, manual way to make a service ticket, which is by using your global add button and then just simply filling this in. So we're going to do add a car um, as our um, example here. And we're just going to pull up Derek, who is a, we're going to say Derek Rogers, and we're going to say this is for his auto insurance. We are going to use our policy change pipeline. Now you, of course, may or may not have one of those. This is how we build the system out for agents we work with, but Agency Zoom doesn't come with these uh, very specific um, pipelines. So just as a heads up. Now, um, how we build this out is we have a potential stage where we, for example, might've talked to this customer and they said, hey, I'm going to add a vehicle um, or I'm looking to buy a vehicle, but I'm, I'm not sure, I wanna quote, just wanna get an idea of what my insurance cost would be. I haven't really purchased a car yet. That would be a potential um, uh, endorsement service ticket that we're gonna make. Uh, if, of course, this client says, calls and says, hey, I purchased a new car, I need to add it to my policy, we're gonna put that under requested, of course. So we're gonna use the appropriate stage based on what's going on with this individual. Now, if this person called in and said, I, I wanna add a car, and they had all the information they needed, the VIN number, the lien holder, and you can add it to the um, policy right away, a lot of people will ask, well, why would I create a service ticket for that? And the answer is data. If you wanna know what your service team is doing all day long, have them create a service ticket for each time they touch a customer. The other answer to that is tracking and historical information for any kind of E&O type of situation that could come up down the road. This service ticket is going to create a permanent record inside of their agency Zoom activities, and you'll be able to pull out all of the information and back and forth communication relating to adding this vehicle if it was ever brought into question. So really the answer as to why you would make a service ticket tracking and data, we want to see how much work your staff is doing, how long is it taking them to complete it, how satisfied are your clients, as well as, of course, uh, the history and the activity there. So instead of just jumping straight into the carrier or into your AMS to um, process the endorsement, you would create a service ticket and then move on to that step. So that is the why. Under the category here, we're just going to go ahead and put in general. Again, you can see there's a lot of custom categories in ours. Again, that's how we built them out custom. Um, we're going to say who is responsible for this service ticket. This is going to be the account CSR. In this case, do we need to add any tags? When is this due? So let's say in this situation, this agent or this, I'm sorry, customer actually purchased the car today. So it's just due today. And then we're going to go ahead and add a note and we're just gonna write in the VIN and I'm just gonna you know, type in some stuff. So we're adding this car, we're gonna click save and this has now created our service ticket. You'll see the automation preview screen pops up. If you have any automation that is related to this stage and or category type, you're gonna be able to preview that here. So that's how we create a standard service ticket and then we'll move it through the process and once we have actually added the car, we're gonna be able to complete that document that we completed it, um, added, and we could even put in the increase in monthly premium, and then click on confirm. And now we can even survey our customer and see how satisfied they were with that experience with our team, which is pretty great. And this now creates a permanent record in the customer's account, 
Let me show you that really quick. We're gonna jump over to the customer side under services and you'll see that completed ad car ticket right here. It looks like there was another one down here inside of our demo account. This one was for renewals. And again, we have all of that history documented. So let's go back to the service center. So that is a standard way to create a ticket and some of the reasons that this is really important to implement in your agency. Now you can also create a service ticket via the service request configuration. So we're gonna go down to my agency, service request configuration, and this can come in via email. This is pretty cool. There is an email intake system. So if you would like to create a standardized um, inbox, or requests to make policy changes for your personal lines clients, you can either integrate an inbox that you already own with your domain, or you could use an agency Zoom managed inbox and it will create one for you. So this is pretty neat. We can go in here and create a category, the priority level, we can create the target pipeline. So this one was for policy changes and the stage as well. And then who is it going to be assigned to? Um, when is the due date? So after we get the request, how soon do you want that to be completed? Are we notifying anybody? And then we can click next. Now what this has done has created a um, specialized email inbox for agency Zoom that will actually create a service ticket when you get an email from your client. So what you would do with this email is then publish it on your website, provide it out to your clients, maybe put it into your signature line or your out of office responder that you might have when you receive emails. And this helps to train your customers on how to request service from you. This is also a great email to put into your onboarding or your retention campaigns so your customers know the best way to interact with your agency and get the fastest service. So now that that is set up, let's go back to the service request configuration. And you can see right here, this is the one that we created. So if I were to send an email into this email address from my customer email that is associated with my agency Zoom profile, so it has to be associated here in the customer account, in their email address, they send the email from this email address, it will automatically create a service ticket in their name and the body of the email will actually show up right here inside of the description. So this is where you would see the body of the email and that will be automatically created. A great easy way to do that. You can go to your website and add that email address um, in there as well. So that is the second way to create a service ticket. The third way, which is to add some additional outside software uh, called Zapier. Zapier connects over you know, 6,000 different pieces of software at this point, well, at least last I checked. Um, and you could create a client portal on your website and create a form. And in that form, your customers can request changes to their insurance. Uh, they could request, you know, you reshop their insurance. They could help to report a claim to you as well and you can connect to those forms from your website through Zapier into your agency Zoom and automatically create a service ticket. It's pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna give you an example. This is a website I love, great agent. Um, I'm just gonna go up here. This was built by Gravity Certs. If you're an insurance agent and you don't have a phenomenal website that you love and is robust and affordable, highly, highly encourage you to look into Gravity Certs. But we're gonna go to the for client section and you'll see in this one, in this website, uh, Rainey's clients can actually go in and request a policy change and they can you know, go in and make the date, they can say what it's for and put in their information. We have the name and the email address. Based on this email address in Zapier, we could create a Zap where this form is created. We use the email address to then search the client database inside of Agency Zoom and automatically create a service ticket in the right pipeline. So this is creating another easy way for your customers to interact with your agency and make sure that you and your team do not miss any inbound requests. And not only do you not miss them, you can work them with follow-up automation. You can also track the number of requests, the number of service tickets your team is handling, and you can survey your clients to see how satisfied they are with the service that is being provided. Um, the other part of this, when you start using the service center, we go into the dashboard. We have a service dashboard as well, 
which is amazing. So you can actually see the number of requests by the categories, the requests by the type of policy. You can also see how many requests you've had over the last 12 months. So when are your busy months? You know, when you look at year over year, I'm sorry, the number of new or completed, when is it really busy for servicing in your agency? So you can staff accordingly. You can see the number of requests opened by each team member, who is completing them. You can see overdue requests and the most recent requests. One of my favorite features of this system is the survey right up here in the top corner because this allows you to keep a pulse on your customers and see how happy they are with your team. Now, if you look at this and you see that you have a lot of poor ratings, first of all, keep in mind this is an internal rating. This is not external. It is not a Google or Yelp review or anything like that, although Agency Zoom can help you with reviews that are external. This particular review is only internal and only attached to service work that your team has done. So you'll be able to see here that we have our customer and we have the survey score that they provided us inside of the ticket. So again, we can go into these and we can see that they gave us a service score of five stars. That's inside and documented in the ticket. We could also see it right here that the um, star rating that they gave us. But again, we can go back to that dashboard and see that information. Um, this is a great way to incentivize your customer service reps to provide stellar customer experience and make sure that they are creating customers for life through everyday touch points that they are providing. Highly encourage you to use the service center if you're looking for help implementing or learning this in your agency. Please reach out to us at acceleratedautomation.net. Hope you loved the video. Be sure to like and subscribe to learn more.